for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by Helene Curtis, makers of Stopette, Suave, and Shampoo Plus Egg. Now let's all play What's My Line? <laughs> And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And on my left, a gentleman who, for reasons that will become apparent a little later on, regards himself as the Phil Spitalny of publishers, Mr. Bennett Cerf. The reason Dorothy said that, and the reason I'm in the wrong spot tonight, is that instead of being surrounded by two beautiful girls, tonight our guest panelist is another beautiful girl, so by golly, I've got three of them. And uh, I think you'll know who she is when I tell you her name. It's Miss Jeannie Carson, the star of her own show, Hey Jeannie, CBS, every Saturday night. Here she is. Thank you, Mr. Serf. And here's a lady who everyone feels at home with, Miss Arlene Francis. <laughs> and now, a gentleman I haven't had an opportunity to introduce in the seven years we've been working together. And I think the reason must be because he always leaves me speechless. <laughs> he is uh, one of the finest newscasters in the country and our beloved moderator, Mr. John Daly. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Panel, a very particular welcome to you tonight, because I know that what I have to do will please you very much. You will please put on your masks. Uh, oh. We'll have the masks on, because we're doing some variations on our usual themes tonight, and have a particular problem for the panel to try to solve. We'll also have a famous mystery guest, before the panel a little bit later in the show. We'll meet our first challenger in just one minute. Let's meet our first contestant. The blindfolds all in place, are they, panel? Yes, sir. All righty, will you come in and sign in, please? Beautiful script. That's fine. Now... First of all, if you're familiar with how we keep score on this program. I think I do. All righty, fine. Let's let everybody at home and those who are here with us know exactly what your line is. <laughs> all right, panel, we'll give you some help. Our uh, friend is self-employed. And let's begin everything with Arlene Francis. Uh, are you associated in any way with the art... Yes. Are you a performer? Yes. Uh, have you performed on television? No. One down and uh, small conference. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you in any way associated with the world of music? Yes. Is it long hair rather than pop music? Is it long hair rather than pop music? No. That's two down of eight to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, I'm in this long way off that I am tonight, but far from your usual, my usual place, it still seems to me that there's more than one voice coming through. Mm -hmm. is, is there more than one person up there? Yes. I mean, besides John Daly. Yes. Uh, uh, are you possibly a team that... Uh, are associated with this uh, rock and roll movement? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Jeannie Carson. Uh, d uh, were you born in this country? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Oh. 
Well, I detect a uh, slight accent that might sound like um, uh, South America or Cuba or a Latin country. Would you be considered a Latin? No. Five down and five to go, <laughs> Miss Kilgallen. Now, you say that you are connected with pop music. Well, not long hair music specifically. Oh. Well, do you play a musical instrument? Yes. And there are more than one of you? Yes. Are there more than two? Yes. Do you sing too? Yes. Um, do you sing and play for records? No. At six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Have you gentlemen ever performed in a nightclub or a hotel? Yes. Do you wear uh, splendid costumes at any time when you do this act? Yes. Uh, you wouldn't be in... Have you ever played uh, Las Vegas or Miami Beach? No. Seven down and three oh. to go, Miss Carsten. Uh, do you dance? Not specifically. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Are you the sort of musicians that put the wrong accent on the right syllable? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, do you do the kind of thing that has a crazy beat like, um, like Calypso singing? Yes. Uh, uh, would you be that Calypso band that plays on the large uh, drums? No. No, but oh. I think actually, Miss Darling, we have to give it to you. You have determined that our guests are Calypso. Yes, Miss Kilgallen? Uh, I'm going to steal Bennett's trick from yeah, last Yeah, that's what week. I was thinking of, it, is it, is Not it, my uh, no. card. <laughs> is it Lord Flea? Lord Flea? No. No, no it isn't. It's <laughs> Sandy Gamery's Cali Calypso Trio. Oh. <laughs> Well, we might be able to persuade him. I want to introduce Gustav Sivil. Gustav and Monsel Isarun. Is that right? On the... What do you don't On the... You call this a drum? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. You say it's a drum. Well, now, actually, uh, I think, at least I have there the Trinidad room, and I hear words that they've been doing things with What's My Lines. Can you do something with What's My Lines? I certainly can. What's my line? What's my line? The panel they guessed it right this time. What's my line? What's my line? The panel they guessed it right this time. Now people come from far and wide. The occupation they try to hide. The panel looking from head to toe and ask them if it's yes or no. What's my line? What's my line? The panel then guessed it. Oh, what's my line, what's my line? The panel they guess they press this time. Now John Dilly is the moderator. He uses words from here to Gibraltar. <laughs> then it's of the book publisher and a favorite woman's club lecturer. What's my line, what's my line? The panel they guess they try this time. What's my line, what's my line? The panel they guess they press this time. Dorothy Kale Gallen, a pretty redhead, writes a Broadway column we have all read. Arlene Francis for intellect, bears a sparkling diamond heart round her neck. <laughs> what's my line, what's my line? The panel they guessed it right this time. What's my line, what's my line? The panel they guessed it right this time. This is coincidence of a high order. I've spent five days in Nassau, where oh, I'm sure some of your friends play. Out that's of Coral right. Beach, and we can hear this music every Certainly. night. And yes. Blind Blake is Blind Blake, those, that's right. He must be one of the real greats oh, in this field, isn't he? Very, very okay. wonderful. Well, Sandy, very you wonderful. you are great, too, you and Gustav. And thank myself, you very and Thanks much. very much for thank being our guest. Much, and much thank for you. your song. <laughs> Grand to have you with us. Bye-bye. like the blindfolds help much that time panel, but perhaps with another kind of fooling around, we can make it tougher for you this trip. Will our next challenger come in and sign in, please? And will the gentlemen in the house please contain themselves? Thank you. Thank you please. Faye? 
Faye Targrove, is that right? Targrove. Targrove. Uh, is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. Targrove. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> um, Mrs. Targrove, will you uh, tell us where you're from? New York City. And the panel. New York. Oh, most of the New Yorkers. Come over here, if you will, please, and sit down next to me. And do you know how we keep score? Yes, certainly. All right, then let's let everybody concerned here and about, except the panel, know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All, right. All right, panel, Mrs. Targo is salaried, and let's begin general questioning with Bennett Surf. <laughs> well, Mrs. Targo, uh, do you perform services of some kind? Yes. I do. Uh, do people come to you for these services? Yes, they do. Would, would there be more than one person at a time that comes to you for these services? Yes. A group, possibly? Yes. Would the group be composed of both sexes? Oh, yes. But w would there be a preponderance of one sex over the other, possibly? Yes. Well, sometimes. Would you say that uh, ordinarily there would be more gentlemen present than ladies? Well, um... It, it'd be very difficult, Bennett, to answer you specifically. The vagaries of chance would determine fundamentally whether you would have more gentlemen than ladies present, you know? <laughs> the vagaries of chance. Uh, may I ask you, Mrs. Targo, uh, do you wear a costume rather different than the one you're wearing now? <laughs> yes, I would say it's different. Different, yes. It is, it is a yes. different costume. Well, does that uh, splendid uh, form that you displayed as you signed in play any part in the services you perform? No, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't. No. <laughs> Thank you. One down and nine to go, Miss Carson. Uh, do you work indoors? Yes. Uh, with other people? Yes. In... In a hall rather than office. In a hall rather, rather than, than an, office? an office. Would it be in a, a large area? Yeah, we could area. say it would be in a hall yes. rather than an office. Ra yes. yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> is, is, <laughs> does the um, movement come into this in, in any way? I would say that in any given period of time, a certain yes. amount of movement yes. would be necessary to the proper performance of the duties, yes. Waiting your finale. Yes, I can see that little door closing any minute. Um, well, uh, do you touch the people? Occasionally I do, yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, would you, uh, let me see now. Uh, do, you, do you sort of advise them in, in any way? Uh, yes, I do. You do? Are they happy afterwards? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Very good answer, yes. Well, are you happy? Do you, do you like what you're doing? Yes, I like what I'm doing. I do. Most of the time. Uh, do you think I could do what you do? Perhaps. I would say yes. I would say, Miss Jeannie, that uh, we would consider that you certainly could do it, although you may not specifically have been trained for it. Oh, you have to be trained for it, then? Is that, well, it helps. Uh, uh, oh, I... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, well, uh... uh hmm. As I said. <laughs> uh, uh, you, can you go outside as well as, as do your work inside? Yes. You can? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, would it be in any way uh, connected with uh, entertainment? No, it no. wouldn't. That'd be too down and eight to go, Miss Francis. I know this is a superfluous question, but do you work for a profit-making organization? No, I don't. That makes it three dollars. <laughs> 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 <Mr. Dallin. laughs> Mrs. Targo, does your work have anything to do with health or education? Yes. Is it more health than education? No. no. <laughs> One out of six to go, Mr. Sir. Now, Mrs. Targo, do you teach something? Yes. Are you, you are a teacher? Yes. That's right, Bennett, <laughs> a school teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Targo is the third grade teacher in PS 58 in the Bronx, here in New York City, 
And I'm glad I never learned how to spell, because I'm going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mrs. Targo, we had loads of fun. I hope you did. Oh, I certainly did. Oh, good. I'm so glad. You gave the panel a rough time. First thing we do, we had so much fun, we'll flip all these over anyway, so it's probably a well, small thank fun. Thank you. Thanks thank you. very much for being our thank guest. Thank you very Lovely much. Lovely to have you here. All right, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just for the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I have to ask my friends on the panel once again to blindfold themselves. The process is underway. When all are in place, will you let me know? Yours in place, Dorothy? Yes. Mr. Sir? Yes. Yes. Miss Carson? Yes. Miss Francis. All right. Will our mystery challenger come in and sign in, please? When we come to the mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in the world of entertainment? Yes, I is. Is there? That was a yes. Mm-hmm. Are you a man? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'd say. Miss Carson? Uh, are you in films? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm in films, yeah. Miss Francis? Would you be considered a leading man? Well, now, Arlene, baby, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would say a leading man. Miss Kilgallen? Do you also sing? Oh, uh, well, no, no, I don't that's, sing too much. That's one down to nine to go, Mr. Surf. Are you one of these fellows who usually ends up with a girl wrapped tightly in your arms at the end of the picture? That's right, Bennett. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Carson? Um, do you play in, in westerns? Well, uh, yeah, I, I've played in westerns, yes. Miss Francis? Are you doing an impersonation of Jimmy Stewart? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, what, that didn't no, count. No, that doesn't count as no, a no, 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 no. Are you one of the new young leading men? Yes, yes, I am. Miss Kilgallen? Are you over six feet? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Are there more than one of them? Mr. Sir? Have you got one of those trick first names like Tab or Spud or Spike or... Got a chance, Bennett. You no. No? Miss no, Bennett. <laughs> uh, do you sing? That's been asked and it's oh, I'm sorry. answered I'm sorry. in the negative. Mm, do you play a guitar? <laughs> well, no, no, I don't play guitar. Oh. Are you appearing at the present time in a picture on Broadway? Uh, no, I don't think I am, Arlene. I, no, I don't. That's think three so. down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Have you um, a very simple classical first name like Robert? Yes, I'd say pretty simple classical name. <laughs> Pick it up. Well, uh, if if it's well, the only it Robert Wagner. Oh. Yes, it's Robert Wagner. <laughs> Jesse James is actually his name for the moment. Uh, you've, got, you've got a picture on the country. It's, you know, it's tough when you ask that question because Jesse James is going to open on Broadway very soon. It's already showing elsewhere, but technically we couldn't say yes because it isn't actually showing at the moment. You were very honest. The true Tom. story of Jesse yeah, James. We're honest, Robert. To Jimmy Stewart, I'm Thank you very much, it was, it, was <laughs> real good. it was real good. Indeed it was. So you come to New York, I imagine, because you're Jesse James, haven't you? Well, yes, John. I've been around touring around the Middle West with a picture, and it brought me into New York and gave me the opportunity to be on your show. Having fun? Great. Good. When do you go back to the coast? I'm leaving for uh, Kansas City Tuesday morning. Oh, good. Then you go back and make another picture? Then I go back, uh, and I have three commitments at the studio when I get back. Oh, ah, so much. wonderful. Well, you are indeed, as Arlene made the point, one of the new bright young stars in Hollywood. We trust that your star stays way up high in the heavens for a long, long time. Well, in fact, forever is a good deal. Nice thank to have you with us, Bob. Take care. Thank you. Panel, you're very, very good tonight. Let's see what you can do with a final challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Yes. 
Charles. Culpold, is that right, sir? That is correct. Uh, Charles, if you look this way, Mm -hmm. Is that better? That's fine. That gives you all the room. That's where you escape. You can run that way if yeah, you feel I, like I, it. I, I see what you mean. <laughs> Charlie, where are you from? Uh, Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California. Mm -hmm. Would you say hello to the panel? How do you do and then that? come over here and join me, please. Nice to have somebody from California with us. You know how we keep score? Yes, I do, Jim. All right, then mm -hmm. let's let everybody hereabouts, except the panel, those out in the, looking at the screens, know exactly what your line is. We will tell you that Mr. Cuffold is salaried, and let's start off with Miss Jeannie Carson this time. Uh, do you give a service? Pardon? Do you give a service? Yes. You do? Yes. Do you work inside, indoors? Sometimes. Oh, so you can work in a while. I would say, to be fair, and I think Mr. Cuffold will agree, that he, a good deal of the time he works indoors, inside. right? Inside. About no, five, sure. <laughs> five to six hours a day. Oh, inside? Yes. Oh, and do you work with other people? Yes. You <laughs> do. Um, do the public come to you for this service? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's when you're outside that you, they don't? No, they come to me when I'm inside or outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to remember that. <laughs> um, oh. Is it uh, in any way uh, connected with education? Well, <clears throat> not education in its formal terms, no. I think we'll have to give you a no on that because we would take education here to mean the strictly formal educational system and it, Mr. Cuffold is not directly concerned with that. Miss Francis. Is there anything unusual about the work that you do, Mr. Cuffold? Unusual? No, there's nothing no. unusual about it. I don't no. think. No, Everybody no. Two thousand eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Mr. Cowfold, uh, you have sometimes a rather steely look in your eye as you <laughs> glance up and down the panel. Would you ever be in a position to discipline anyone or punish anyone? No. No, I don't punish anyone. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you think of it, <laughs> don't believe them. <laughs> No, I would say this. I think you would agree when all is revealed that Mr. Cowfold is not in a position which directly gives him the responsibility for disciplining or punishing anyone. That might be an end result as a result of uh, some recommendation you might make, but he does not do it. Mr. Sir, that's three down and seven to go. Mr. Daly, your gobbledygook has not helped me. <laughs> Good. Uh, Mr. Cowfold, I, I rather got the impression that, though, despite the fact that you don't punish anybody, that you might have some connection however vague, with the police system of some kind, a system of government. No? That's four no. down and six to go, Miss Carson. Oh, um, do you deal with children in any way? Oh, I could, yes. No way to murder. He's much be. kinder than I would be, Miss Carson. You get a yes. I do. Yes. I bet it's confused me more than anything, that yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, do you deal more with one sex than the other? Yes. Oh. Would it be male? Yes, I deal with men, I would say, generally. Generally? Yes. Uh, hmm. Do you wear a uniform? No. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. We have about one minute. Uh, do you give advice in your job? Yes. Yes, I do. Is your job meant to help people? I like to think so. Ah. <laughs> Isn't that nice? He does like to think so. All right, Miss Francis. Uh, there is no product involved with what you do, is there? No, there is not. Yes, there is not. Are you also uh, employed by a non-profit making organization? Non-profit, yes. Is it any branch at all of the government? Yes. Uh, but it has nothing whatsoever to do with the police force or law and order as uh, asked by Mr. Cerf. 
I'm awfully sorry, Arlene. We've run out of time, so I'll have to flip all the cards. Who do you think it is? I think, I think he has something to do with animals, but I don't know what it is. Income tax? Income tax is right. <laughs> Mr. Gowfold is an income tax agent, worked for the Internal Revenue Bureau for the Treasury Department for many years. Thanks very much. It was nice to have you with us, sir. Thank Hope you have a good day. <laughs> nice to have had you with us, Miss Jeannie Carson. Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy. Good night, John. Good night, Bennett. I wish they could see that red hair of yours, Jeannie. Good well, night. Good night, Bennett. <laughs> Wait till your wife gets home. <laughs> <laughs> good night, John. Thank you for asking me. Good night, Arnie. Good night, Jeannie. Good night. Good night, John. Be happy in the third grade. Yes, dear. And good night, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. <laughs> Travel arrangements on What's My Line are made through American Airlines. American Airlines flies our contestants in luxurious comfort aboard DC-7 flagships. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network.